Well, hello everybody. I'm Jerry Emge, a realtor with Keller Williams The Lakes in Lake Elsinore, California. And I cover primarily Western Riverside County, but I'll go anywhere in California where the need arises. And I produce these videos on a weekly basis, sometimes more often than that. And I cover a wide variety of real estate topics. The name of my YouTube channel is Jerry Emge's Real Estate Whiteboard. So go there and check it out and like my channel and uh, subscribe and, and you'll get a lot of interesting knowledge about different real estate topics. So each episode is a different topic. If you like my videos, give them the old thumbs up when you see that opportunity and subscribe when you can. And when you subscribe, you can hit the little bell, a notification bell, and you'll be notified when new videos go live. Today's topic has to do with pool care problems. You know, having a swimming pool, particularly here in Southern California, not uncommon, but um, taking care of that pool properly sometimes is uncommon. And when you go to sell a home, if you have a pool, if you've taken good care of that pool the way you should, it's going to be a big asset to selling, telling, to selling the house. Uh, if you've let the pool degrade in some way, it's going to be a liability to selling the house. So you want to take good care of it. Make that pool be a selling feature for your home. Here's some common problems or mistakes that people have with their pool. Most local municipalities have a, have a code that you have to have a fence around the pool. And uh, most common it's four foot fence, but you got to check your local codes to see what, what they require. This is a very, really an important issue to keep pets and children from falling in the water. You got to not only have the, have, have the fence around the pool, you have to maintain it. And in some cases it has to meet certain um, requirements as far as being a self-closing gate and things like that. So just make sure you look at that, ask the experts and make sure you deal with the maintenance of that. Make sure you get a fence and that you deal with the maintenance of that fence. A second problem or mistake people make is not taking care of the pool filters. Uh, the pool cleaning system and the water circulation system, everything goes through a filter to filter out a lot of stuff and keep it out of the pool. So, uh, or to clean the pool itself, clean the water in the pool. You gotta clean those filters. Otherwise your pumps are working extra hard against the clogged filter. The filter's not doing its job. It's always good, if you can, to have two filters and swap one out for the other while you pull one out, put the clean one in, and, uh, and then clean the other one. And that way you've always got a clean filter working for you at all times. And it's usually done monthly. It depends on the type of situation that you live in. If you're in a really dusty and dirty and windy area, you may have to clean that filter more often than monthly, but monthly is a good way to, to think about it. Put it on your calendar once a month, check the filter, clean the filter, swap the filter, whatever that may be. You want to always use proper care with the chemicals that go in your pool. If you put the wrong kind of chemicals in or the wrong mix and concentration, you can cause skin irritations and eye irritations and worse things can happen. So. Um, the best way to do this is to take a sample of your water to your local pool supply place. I know here in, in our area we have Leslie's Pool Supply. I've, it's not an ad for them, but they happen to be one of the bigger ones in the area, just as an example. Take a, take a sample of your water in. They will analyze it and let you know what you need to buy uh, as far as and, and, and the formula you need to use to bring your pool water up to normal conditions. The final thing is uh, you want to service that pool on a regular basis. It's best to sign up with a service. They'll put you on a schedule and they will service that pool year round. This is the mistake a lot of people make is that during the unused months, the winter months or the, the slow time of the year when people don't usually use their pool because it's a little chilly out or whatever, um, they let the pool maintenance go to pot and this can be a real problem. So. That's all I really wanted to talk about today. Take care of your pool. It'll help you when you go to sell the house. So once again, 
If you like my videos, give them the old thumbs up, subscribe. Here comes a little bit of information about me. You can always pause the video during this time and write down my email address or phone number if you need to get hold of me. I'm always happy to talk about any of my video topics and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.